Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you my homemade biscotti recipe. There's a vanilla and an almond one. They're pretty similar, but there's just a couple extra things added into the almond one. Make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want to connect further beyond YouTube. But let's just jump right into the recipe. For almond and vanilla, you'll start with a large bowl and add six tablespoons of soft butter, two thirds a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of vanilla, and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Then mix well using a mixer. Add in two eggs and mix until well combined. Slowly mix in two cups of flour. I've used regular flour, bread flour, and gluten-free flour, and they all turned out great. The dough will still be really sticky and soft, but this is how it's supposed to be. Grease a baking sheet, and then you'll start shaping the dough into logs. You can make these whatever size you want. It works best, in my opinion, if you just make long, skinny ones. And keep in mind that the dough will spread quite a bit when it's baking. So those are the vanilla ones, and all you do for almond is add 1 fourth a teaspoon of almond extract and about 1 half cup of sliced almonds. You can add more than that if you'd like. to add some colorful coarse sugar to the top so they look really pretty. You can just sprinkle that across the top and pat it in a little so it won't fall off when it starts baking. Then you will bake at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. After that, pull them out and reduce the oven temperature to 325. Then you will slice the biscottis into whatever size you like. The thinner you slice them, the more biscottis you'll have in the end. And lay them sideways on a baking sheet. Then you will put them back into the oven for another 25 minutes or so or until they start to look golden brown. they're done. Alright, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure and let me know in the comments if you're going to try the recipe and what you thought of it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. I totally appreciate it, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys!